What's good, everybody? My damn, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Mike the Wrestling Collector, and we're back with a new video. In today's video, we got another episode of Mike Mel, and uh, first package we're gonna kick off here is from uh, the uh, meme himself, uh, My Damn Toys. We did a trade, I believe today is January 10th or January 9th, and this video is going up probably the 11th. So, I don't know why this package took so long. Even the package I sent him took very long to get to him for some odd reason. Maybe the holidays. I don't fucking know. But, that don't matter as long as we actually get it. So, we got two figures in here. One figure is for a custom. And one is just because I needed it. Um, the first figure we have here is this Elite Ray Mysterio. I really did want this figure. I don't know why. I do already have one Elite Ray, but I just like these colors more because they are the Gucci colors. So, you know, Gucci is like the word I use a lot. Gucci Ray Mysterio, pretty nice. And the figure that is for the custom, it is this Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels. Um, I'm actually going to be getting a custom done by uh, Burnout Inc. You know, me and him are chill now, so, you know, I'm going to be sending this to him. I'm beginning a custom made. If any of you guys can guess what custom Shawn Michaels I'm getting, let me know down below. Whoever wins gets a shout out. So, uh, yeah, thank you, my damn toys, for the Gucci Ray and Shawn Michaels. And, yeah, we're moving on. And continuing on here, Mike the Wrestling Collector family, we got a package from eBay. eBay, the place to go. Better than walk out where? Better than ringside? eBay is the place to go. I got a very good deal on these two. There are two elites in here, 15 bucks, free shipping great deal hopefully i don't cut the figures this is a very small package for two figures uh, let's just go ahead and open this up or cut it or try to open it anyways um yeah i needed these i'm gonna be doing fix-ups on these i don't know if the finished fix-up will be in this video necessarily but i will be doing fix-ups on both of these figures and i have some good gucci ideas so just stay tuned for those we making progress, we making progress. Dang, this guy really did shove these in this package. The first one is this uh, John Cena Elite. I'm not sure which one it is. But um, don't mind the head scan and the arms. Going to be swapping those. I really like these, um, these light shorts. I was going to get the Elite 2 or the, like, you know, the one that also had light pants with the blue armbands. Um, what I like about this Cena is it has this sort of, like, the torso that the newer John Cena's have, and it has a lower with the long shorts, which is what I'm after. Unlike this one, which has, like, the Triple H style torso, which I do like, but I do like this torso more. So I'm going to be swapping the head and the arms and making, like, a ruthless aggression John Cena. really do like the shoes, too. Kind of tripped up, but I have a basic Cena on the way. I'll probably just swap the shoes. So that is pretty cool. Pretty good condition as well. And the next one, I forgot what it was. And it's this orange John Cena. See what I mean by this one has a Triple H torso. And this one has like the newer torso. I really do like this one. And this one, I don't know what I'm going to be doing it, doing with it quite yet. But I do have a few ideas. Um, I might be swapping these Defining Moments uh, 1 John Cena arms onto, onto it. Not sure yet. Um, I mainly just got it for... This Cena the, with the light shorts, because I really did want the light short one. And I got an extra John Cena Elite 2, so I'll probably do a fix-up on this one. Not 100% sure yet. Both of these are in very good condition, surprisingly. I'm kind of scared this one might break, but... You know, older Elites could break on you. You know, not very surprised if they do. Um, I'm talking way too long. So, uh, yeah, thank you, eBay, and uh, continuing on. And moving on, you guys, we got another package here from eBay. Nothing special. It's one Elite in here, I'm pretty sure. And let's cut into it and open it up. This package got delayed about five times, which I was kind of mad about. Because I wanted it like last week, but it didn't get here till this week. But, oh well, at least I got it. I'm going to be doing a fix-up with this because, like, you know, I'm the fix-up king, JK. Um, I got this for, I think, $12 shipped. I just keep getting figures very cheap on eBay. Great place to buy your figures. But sometimes it could be risky buying from eBay because you never know what a figure's condition will be. And here we got this WrestleMania Elite the WrestleMania 30 Undertaker. Uh, I had this before. It, the leg broke on me, so... 
that broke like a year ago too so i haven't had this figure for almost a year um great trunk great uh tight designs on the sides um hand is loose on this one i'll just swap the arm of a basic undertaker probably swap both the arms because i just noticed this is missing like the little thing but oh well and I'll be swapping the head with a long-haired Undertaker head skin because I always wanted to see what this would look like with a long-haired Undertaker head just because the red designs, which I really do like. This is the attire from when he lost the streak. Rest in peace. Um, so I'm going to go do that fix sub and I'll show you guys that at the end of the video after I show all the packages I got on this episode. Well, well that, that wasn't uh, meant to go down, but continuing on with this episode of Mike Mel, the end of the episode as a matter of fact and after these two packages I have another package of figures that I didn't film me opening it that I have to show you so I'll show you guys that after this but the last two packages we have on this episode of Mike Mel, uh, one comes from ah some guy on Instagram and this one comes from the boy Twitty Mania bro he's back at it again on Mike Mel with the awesome deals what is in here i think i got these for twenty dollars each yeah twenty dollars each i got those ones so we'll open this one first um i think this is what i think it is i'm not 100 percent sure but from my knowledge i know what this is it's just one elite in here <laughs> i'm sorry one that I really did need, um, you know, I did want the ringside exclusive one of this guy. Oh, wait. Yeah, the display stands in here. Um, it is an older Elite, and it is the Elite 4? Elite, okay, come on. Elite 4 or Elite something cane. I'm not 100% sure on this. I think it's around there. I had this figure before, but I traded it, I think. Um, the only thing he said that was wrong with it was the, like, this is a little bit loose, but not too big of a deal. Um, besides that, pretty good looking figure. I'm really happy I have this one. I, I did want this one, said the Elite 11 one, or whichever one. There's also the bald came with the ties, because I like the barbed wire more than the, uh, other one. And he gave me this lace stand. So, that's Gucci, uh, not a big deal. But, thank you, WWE figure guy, something, I think that's where I got it from. I'm not sure, I think I paid... $13 for that pretty good deal, but the main one the one I'm most excited for 20 bucks each came out to $40 total. I think it was a good deal Oh, here we go the first thing we have in here is a custom. I'm starting to buy more customs now It is a custom elite triple H here we go. Boom. I think this is a custom head he painted up. I'm not sure. Um, boom. Pretty nice. Has the Triple H logo. And the Triple H is on the back. Has a knee brace on it as well. It has that problem with like the legs where it feels like it's going to break. So I'm probably going to have to do the trick. Venomine Fig showed me. Get hot water and make it so it doesn't do that. So thank you Venomine Fig. No. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to do that to this figure so it doesn't do that. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to go watch that video again, but yeah, Triple H, pretty nice, pretty nice. I don't know if I'll swap the head because I kind of like this custom head, and you also swap the hand. It looks like so pretty nice Triple H Elite. What the main one in here? I never thought I would buy this because he had this one priced up pretty high, but for me, he kind of lowered it. I don't know exactly who this was made by, but. It is a custom elite triple H. Gave me the coat, pretty nice. But the main thing I was intrigued by for this figure was the pants. These pants are very detailed. I don't I think Beast Nation made this, and that bitch blocked me for no reason. He blocks everybody, but I didn't get it from him. I got it from Twitty Mania, who I think bought it from him. I'm not 100% sure, but these pants, though, are pretty nice. Like, they're lighter in person, kind of. They're a little bit lighter, if I can show you guys in better lighting. Here we go. Maybe I should do my videos like this, but, yeah, these are the pants. They're, like, rattlesnake print or something. I don't know, I really do like it though for Undertaker, like this is like American Badass Undertaker, or Big Evil, whatever you want to call him, and it even has a custom head skin, um, 
yeah, it has the bandana on it, has longer hair. I think it's just an Undertaker head with a different hair on it. I don't fucking know. But it also has a Sarah tattoo on his neck. I don't know. I really like it, though. My Undertaker collection's blowing up, like, really bad. I don't really mean to do that. But, so that was uh, the last package for this episode. But now I'm going to go, I'm going to show you guys some more figures I got. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Twitty Mania and uh, the guy, figure guy who gave me this. Yeah. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you everything that I didn't show you, plus the things I already did show you. Um, starting off with this Elite 8 Edge, I got this from Twitty Mania. Um, I filmed an unboxing for it, but it didn't turn out right, so I just deleted it. So I got this Elite 8 Edge with this custom rated R spinner belt. It doesn't actually spin, it just sits there, unlike the Mattel one, but I do like it. Also from that package from Twitty Mania, I also received... Um, this uh, ringside exclusive edge that I swapped on the custom head made by BEW Animations. Um, I do have two uh, ringside exclusive edges. One I got from Austin is Reborn. One I got from Twitty Mania. This is the one from Twitty Mania. The one with the custom head. Looking like he's getting ready to do a spear. I think I've already showed you guys that. And also from that package from Twitty Mania, I got the Elite One Edge, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I did the custom jacket. I cut the sleeves off and the lower part of the jacket. I make like a vest for Edge. I really like it on the Elite One. And this head was repainted by BEW as well. So there's that. Uh, am I missing anything? I'm not sure. I'll just show this again because I really do like it. Um, this was made by Twitty Mania. I know when I unboxed it, I wasn't 100% sure if it was. But it indeed was made by Twitty Mania, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else did I get that I didn't show? Uh, I'm kind of, uh, what the fuck did I didn't, uh, didn't show? Okay, well, I guess I'll just show this because I re I fixed it. So I've, when I unboxed this, you guys seen it had a different head scan, and it had knee tape right here. Uh, well, the legs were messed up, so I, so I used Venomine Figs' trick, or BEW's advice, and then Venomine made it into a video, because Venomine's unoriginal, as you all know. Um, and it worked, but the knee tape kind of came off, so I just started taking it all off. So it's still kind of on there, but I, I'm working on getting it all off. And I swapped on a different head scan, and I do like this head scan more than the other one. This is the one off that DX wall, uh, Kmart Battle Pack 2K15, I think. Um, I really do like this figure. I don't know if I showed the back of it, but yeah, there's the Triple H custom. Really do like that. Uh, what else did I not show? Well, I think that's everything. I really do. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, the My Damn Toys Rey Mysterio I got at the beginning of this video. The cane you can see right there. Um, all in all, I got a lot of Gucci things in this episode of uh, Mike Mel. Uh, I'm sorry for that burp, but you know, sometimes you just gotta burp, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, yeah, you guys been watching a lot of my videos, I've been uploading more, you know, I don't want to be like Venomine Figs and not upload for like a week, you know, I don't roll that way, but I hope you guys enjoyed, follow me on Instagram, at Mike the Wrestling Collector, more videos to come, more packages to come, shout out to everyone I got packages from, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.